When we moved from the original two groups of Professor Lasky and myself, we proposed at that stage to have an institute in which cancer research formed part and developmental biology another part. The original question that we were trying to answer, and this is back in the 1950s, was whether all cells in the body have the same genes. Even DNA was not really discovered at that point. The original experiments we did involved taking the nucleus out of a specialized cell and injecting it into an unfertilized egg. The combination of the egg and the transplanted nucleus could eventually make a completely normal individual. This was all done in frogs. And it answered the first question, which is, do all cells of the body have the same genes? And it seemed clear from this experiment that that is the case. It was the work of Takahashi and Yamanaka which really opened up this whole approach that you might take a tiny bit of skin and generate cells of all other kinds from it. I work full time and I have very expert colleagues to work with me. One is very fortunate, if the work goes fairly well, to find that recognitions come to pass. The one that everybody has heard of is the Swedish Nobel Award. My own activity is at the basic level, trying to find out how a cell which is completely committed to one kind of specialization can be switched into an entirely different one. As you can imagine, to take a small piece of skin and derive from it new brain cells or eye cells would be an enormous health advantage. If people are receiving their own kind of cells, there would be no need for immunosuppression. Disorders like neurodegeneration, Alzheimer's and so on could be relieved. That is indeed the direction in which the work is going.